Hello, everyone. Thank you for attending today's webinar. I am Angela Torres, the Marketing Manager for Streetwave Wireless. I am joined with Trevor with Barry from SoundVision Technologies, and he'll be walking you through today's presentation about the different Pro AV outdoor options and a variety of professional outdoor speakers and amplifiers that are suitable for you. Um, I want to mention that this webinar will be recorded and we will share it afterwards and it will also be posted on our YouTube channel. We do love to hear questions, so please go ahead and ask them at any time during the presentation in the questionnaire box and we'll address them after the webinar. Without any further ado, go ahead, Trevor, take it away. Thank you, Angela. And thank you to everyone who is uh, joining us, both East Coast and West Coast. If you're on the East Coast, thank you for joining us this afternoon. And West Coast, uh, thanks for joining us this morning, coming up on lunchtime. Uh, it's been a little while here. So uh, thanks for setting the time aside. Uh, today's purpose of this presentation is really to just get you guys familiarized with what True Audio has to offer in the way of outdoor products. Um, we've got a very broad lineup of outdoor products, and this happens to be one of my personal favorite lines. It's also one of our fastest growing lines as a company and has been for a few years running now, and it continues to boom. And um, that's why we wanted to take the time to talk to you guys today about it, uh, to, to both help you have an understanding of what there is to offer, as well as to help you get some ideas of how to um, work this into your business if you're not already doing so. Um, and how to basically open up a, a stream of, of uh, revenue and opportunity if it's not there already. Um, for those of you who already offer outdoor um, audio, you know, hopefully this is also very valuable to you as well. And you'll be able to see the different products we have to offer and kind of our unique product set that uh, differentiates us from our competitors. Um, again, thanks for joining us. And like Angela said, please do not hesitate to drop any questions into the chat box while we're going here. Um, we love to have the participation. We love to have the questions come in and um, we will answer them as, as quickly as we see them. So we will go ahead and get started here. My name is Trevor Woodbury and I'm the sales director for the West Coast at uh, Sound Vision Technologies. Um, and today we're focusing on our brand True Audio, like I said, which is our speaker brand. Um, we'll also talk a little bit about uh, another brand we have within the Sound Vision Technologies umbrella, which is Vessel, uh, because that does tie into our outdoor offering as well. Um, and for those of you who are not familiar with Vessel, if you if you missed our last presentation, which was a few weeks ago, um, I know uh, I know Streakwave has that, and they can get that over to you um, anytime. So I do highly recommend you check that out if you haven't already. Uh, just to give you a quick background on us as a company, we're founded in 2000. Uh, so we've been around for 20 years now. Um, we were founded by installers with the mindset of always coming out with products that uh, that are installer friendly, they're unique to the installer, that save time to the installer, um, as well as you know exceeding quality and expectations and on all fronts. But uh, we continue to strive to have that mindset as we come out with any kind of new product. Is how can we how can we come out with something that's going to be easier for the installer, for our customer, that's going to save them time, that's going to benefit uh, the end user. That's always on the forefront of our minds as we come out with any new products, which you'll be able to see a lot of that as I discuss our outdoor category today. Um, we're a privately held company. We've got, as you can see, warehouses all over the uh, world. Um, so we are a very much a global company. Um, not listed on here are the Streakwave locations that also warehouse our, our products as well. So um, we have a very strong presence as far as uh, product in the United States. And, should be able to get products from uh, between these locations I and mean, really everybody in the United States would be a day or two at least shipping wise from having product. Uh, as far as where we stand as a company, um, again a very broad and deep line. Today we're just focusing solely on the outdoor products which is in and of itself very broad and deep that you'll see. Um, quality, construction, sound obviously at the top of everything we try to we try to do as a company, we are priced very competitively. Um, it's something we track and stay on top of. Uh, you know, we like to be obviously right there with with all of our competitors. And then we also have a strict online sales policy. So uh, you're not going to find a lot of our products online. You will find some, but you're not going to find anything below MSRP. So we we really strive to protect our customers and our dealer base. Um, and keep uh, keep it very clean so that 
the you know your, the end user, your customers cannot shop you online. So jumping into the outdoor category, we're going to start out with uh, kind of the the basic uh, or base platform, if you will, patio systems. Um, so patio systems and patio solutions, very very popular category. This is kind of an entry level area for outdoor audio and sound. Um, and before I get any further, I, I just wanted to add, so I know a lot of you probably on this presentation, some of you may uh, may already be doing audio and video speakers. Some of you may not be doing any of it at all um, and kind of looking to see how you could tap into it. Um, you know, some of you may be just doing more of the networking uh, stuff and, and trying to figure out how you can add this to the, the arsenal. So I I just want to say I've seen I've been I've been with True Audio now for over six years and I've been in the industry for a little while and I've seen customers my customers come from both sides of uh, kind of both ends of the spectrum both from the audio video side um, and then also from the networking side and jumping into more of the AV stuff and adding that to their their solutions that they offer as a company I can tell you that the guys who come from networking and have a good basic understanding of, of how to set up a solid network, whether it's in a commercial application or residential application, those guys are far more successful than guys coming in at the other end who just, maybe they, uh, you know, uh, were in car audio and they, they love, they love audio, they love bass, um, but they haven't, they didn't have, it's not to say they couldn't gain this understanding, but they didn't have a good understanding of networking. So networking really as we especially in today's world is, is such a foundational piece of everything even this this outdoor audio we'll, we'll talk about how our products do tie into you know networking a solid network but uh it's such a foundational piece and, and the guys who really have that understanding kind of base level understanding they uh they, they have a lot less callbacks and they're far more profitable on these uh these big custom integration jobs that have audio and video and and you know all sorts of stuff that tie into that. So for guys looking to tap into the custom integration world, um, but maybe are a little bit fearful of it, if you have a good understanding of networking, you should jump right into this. I'm telling you. So back on track here, patio systems. Um, patio systems are ideal for small areas. They're also, like I said, kind of an entry level area for a customer to get into some, you know, some audio for the outdoor space. Uh, as far as what True Audio has to offer in the way of um, you know kind of a basic setup, um, we've got a number of solutions. We've got uh, wall mount speakers ranging from all sizes. The first one here I want to talk about is our OL series. This is more of a contractor grade speaker. Um, it is a five and a quarter inch woofer, and um, you're running about 80 watts RMS on on these guys. But it's it's a very uh, like I said contractor grade speaker, very entry level uh, solution. And you tie these up with the you know an amplifier, which Trudy also offers between um, our T100, which we'll talk about, um, and then you throw a source on it, and you've got a quick you know solution for under a thousand bucks retail um, to get some good audio outside. Again, this is like I said entry level, very much so. If you want to step up from the um, OL series, you jump into our OP series which is also a surface mount style speaker. It comes in white and black. Um, we have these available in a six and a half inch or eight inch option. Um, and these produce quite a bit more boom, especially with the eight inch version. So you're gonna get a lot better sound out of these guys. Obviously you're gonna jump up in price, but uh, the sound you're gonna get out of these as compared to the o OL series is a lot better. And, um, you know, these larger OP8s will actually do a, a fantastic job of filling up the uh, the outdoor space with some good sound. Um, one of the drawbacks, though, to kind of these traditional style outdoor speakers, which are, are very common, is that you are blasting out the sound from your house out to the outdoor space. So let's say a customer has a pool and they want to have good audio. So, you, you, you know, you put a few of these down the back of the house and you blast the audio out. Well, if you're on the far side of that pool or somewhere else in the yard, um, you know, that volume is going to start to decrease as you get further away from the house. And so you're going to crank up the volume. And what that does is a couple of drawbacks. It, it creates a very loud uh, 
listening position for those who are close to the house, maybe trying to have a conversation. And it also tends to disrupt the neighbors quite a bit. So that, that uh, the louder you get, you're blasting again out away from the house and towards neighbors' homes. Um, so something to keep in mind. And as we continue down our offering here, I'll, I'll show you a couple of solutions that I think are far better. Um, and something that we're selling a lot more of these days versus these traditional style speakers. Um, so the T100 amplifier is a great piece to power up a pair of, of, of these patio speakers. Um, so you can take this guy, it's a nice little class D amplifier, your 100 watts per channel, which is plenty of power to drive any size of those uh, speakers all the way down, you know, the, the OL five and a quarter inch up to the eight inch OPs. This will do a fine job of driving those for you. Um, you do need a source on top of this. So as for a source, uh, you would you would use either like a, I mean a vessel product, which we're gonna talk about just a little bit. For those of you who remember the vessel presentation a few weeks ago, um, you would use something like that, uh, something along the lines of a Sonos product, uh, or even just like a Bluetooth receiver, and then you could uh, Bluetooth from your, from your phone or tablet or whatever you wanted. Um, but we'll talk about why that uh, has some limitations. Um, to give you an idea of price point wise, again, you can get into a, a very entry level system. This is with the uh, six and a half inch OPs, your 1300 bucks for the amp and the two, the pair of speakers. Um, you're under a thousand bucks with the, uh, the OLs and the same amplifier. So you can step down, um, or jump up to the eight inch and you, you get up to just under 1500 retail. Uh, by the time you add a source, you know, if, again, if you wanted to throw in a little Bluetooth device, you're, you know, you're 25 bucks or something like that. Um, if you wanted to throw a vessel A1, which gives you a lot more flexibility, um, it allows your customer to, um, you know, be able to stream music from any device that they want. It also eliminates, you know, any problems with, uh, with, the, with the limitations that Bluetooth has because it puts it on the Wi-Fi. A vessel, uh, your, your dealer cost, or, or excuse me, your, your MSRP cost is going to be around 550 bucks. So it's going to add it's going to add a bit to that overall retail, but give a much better solution. Um, this is just kind of giving you an idea of how you're going to wire up a patio system. Again, this is a very basic system. So you're going to have your source, which again, is going to be a little Bluetooth box. It's going to be a vessel. It's going to be a Sonos, something along those lines. You're going to tie into the amplifier here and your analog in. Uh, and then you're going to run your speaker wire. You're going to have a you know a, a two conductor 60 gauge or 14 gauge speaker wire, two strands coming out, one to your left speaker, one to your right speaker, and you are set to go. So it's it's that simple to really have an entry level outdoor system, um, which is going to really brighten up you know the outdoor space. Uh, something we're seeing more and more is that especially given this year, 2020 has kind of been a crazy year. For everybody, but the one thing we've noticed as a as a speaker company is that a lot more people are investing money into upgrading their homes, and uh, especially those who who live in areas where they want to be outside, want to enjoy outside. They don't feel like they can get out away from home as easily, given the circumstances of 2020. Um, so they want to enhance their living experience at home outside. So they're putting money into uh, you know upgrading their their patios, upgrading their backyards. Um, and they're tying audio right into that. So that's it's absolutely a conversation you guys should be having with your customers if you're not already doing so. Uh, we've seen a, a massive surge in this category just in this year alone. Um, if you want to get into something nicer than just a basic patio speaker system, um, this would be the next phase. So this we call our Ultrascape series. Um, Ultrascape, Ultrascape series is made up of four satellite speakers that you can see here, and then either a, a burial eight inch subwoofer, which is this orange one that you see, or a eight inch above ground, uh, all weatherproof subwoofer. So you've got either or option and you've got the four satellites. Um, this is a great system for dedicated areas of listening. So if you have a customer who's got a fire pit or they've got a, um, excuse me, let me jump forward here. If they've got a fire pit or they've got a, you know, you can see here in the picture, you've got a small area 
um, a hot tub maybe, uh, a small gazebo, something along those lines where that's really the only place they want to have audio. And they don't also want something that's going to break the budget. The Ultrascape system is an awesome solution for that. Uh, it's going to give great full range sound, having that subwoofer and then those four satellites. You'd be able to position the satellites around the listening area and put the subwoofer somewhere right in the mix of it. And you're going to have awesome full range sound for that specific area. Uh, so the Ultrascape system is not designed for large areas. We're going to get into that next um, in the next series of speakers we've got for very large dedicated areas of, of audio where they want basically the highest end audio, you know, to fill their whole entire backyard. Um, so again, Ultrascape built with small places in mind. Um, you can step into this system for around a couple grand retail. Um, so you've got both the, the hardscape option and the burial option that you can get into. As you can see, we do offer this in a package setting. Um, this is not including the amplifier. We do have the package also including an amplifier. Um, and then you would need to add a source to this as well. So again, like a Vessel A1 piece, um, a Sonos piece, um, a Bluetooth, a simple Bluetooth piece, anything along those lines is your source of audio. And again, you're off to the races with some, some awesome outdoor audio. Uh, one thing to not be afraid of when pitching this to your customers is if they've got audio or let's say they don't have any audio inside the house. This, these are sold great as standalone systems, but they can also easily be tied into the rest of the home. So if your customer has audio in the home or they have a control system in the home and they want this to tie into it, great, it's a piece of cake. If they don't have any of that, uh, there's no reason to still not pitch outdoor audio because it can be set up easily as a standalone system too. Real quick, the slide I, I passed up on here, I wanted to just show you quickly the, the wiring diagram. Um, it's gonna be a little bit different to wire up the Ultrascape system than, than it is with, uh, say, the patio speakers. So the way you're gonna run this, again, we're showing the T100 two-channel amplifier from True Audio. You're gonna run out of your source, being Sonos, Bluetooth, Vessel, something like that, into your amplifier. And then you're gonna run those same speaker wires um, two different uh, two conductor speaker wires into your subwoofer. So on the subwoofer, both the burial version and the hardscape or above ground version, you've got a pigtail of wires coming out of it. Um, and this diagram is great to show you, you know, exactly how to how to wire this up. So you're going to come into that pigtail, and then you're going to wire out of that pigtail out to each of your four satellite speakers. Um, it is very important that this system gets wired properly and as shown in the diagram. Um, and for anybody needing help with any of this, you know, we, we do include instructions that are very basic and easy to follow. Um, but we've also got a great technical support staff that you can call in any time while out on the job site and uh, we'd happily walk you through it. So certainly nothing to be afraid of. Um, again, this the Ultrascape system is awesome. It, it gives the customer great sound for a small dedicated area, and it doesn't break the budget. You, know, you can easily get into one of these systems for under three grand MSRP and get awesome quality audio for outside. Moving on beyond the Ultrascape series, we've got our um, high-end luxury landscape series. So this is going to be for any large area of, of audio that you want outside. So say a customer wants to have their whole entire pool covered, they want their uh, sport court covered, they want their putting green covered, you know, maybe they just want one of those areas. Um, then you're gonna wanna jump into one of our scalable luxury systems. Uh, this line is made up of, again, uh, similar to the Ultrascape series, at least from initial look here, you see two burial subwoofer options. The yellow one is a 10 inch, the green one is a 12 inch, and then we also have a 12 inch above ground subwoofer option. And then you have these larger satellite speakers, which are AS1 is the smaller one here, which is a four inch woofer. And then you jump up to our AS2, it's a six and a half inch woofer. And then we just most recently came out, which is not pictured here, is our AS3 and that's an eight inch woofer. Um, so really we've got tons of flexibility, tons of options to cover any kind of, uh, any kind of customer's 
wants or desires from an audio standpoint. Obviously, the larger you go with these woofers, the more immersive and full and rich sound you're going to get. Um, I personally love the AS3s and highly recommend them to all of my customers when they're specking jobs. But sometimes it's too large for a customer and they want something a little bit smaller, a little more easily um, you know, hidden, something that could blend in with the landscape a little bit better. And so the AS2 or the AS1 might be the better option for that. Um, and then you can see down here we have uh, this Crown CDI 1000 amplifier. Uh, so it's it's going to be a different setup, which we're going to get into for these landscape systems. They're very much scalable, meaning you can go as little or as big as you want, depending on the size of the project. So again, these, uh, these landscape systems are ideal for covering a large outdoor space. Um, and to go, I had mentioned earlier that the, the patio speakers, that traditional style of, of outdoor system with those patio speakers mounted to the house, I, I kind of mentioned the downside of the, the sound blasting away from the home and possibly getting out to the neighbors and disrupting, you know, having neighbors complain about too loud of, of audio blaring from the house. This system is awesome because you're able to line the landscape and, and place them strategically to basically position the sound wherever you want. Um, so ideally, as you can kind of see here, you place the speakers accordingly to get the fullest and uh, most sound everywhere throughout the project. Uh, so one thing you're able to do with these speakers that you can't do with patio speakers, you can throw them all around the outside of the landscape facing towards the house and away from your neighbor's homes. Um, so you're going to get a lot less complaints with with a system like this versus, you know, blaring some patio speakers. And then the other great thing is you're able to put in some of these burial subwoofers or hardscape subwoofers um, anywhere throughout the project. Uh, so these systems are fantastic for giving full, rich, immersive sound anywhere outside. They blend well into the landscape. You know, they're designed to look more like a landscape light. Um, and they're easily, you can easily hide these uh, behind vegetation, plants, bushes, trees. Um, again, these systems are very much scalable. You can start with a couple of speakers and work all the way up to an infinite amount of speakers if you wanted to. Um, to give you an idea of where these systems start, so this is a, a basic system of one 12 inch sub, six of our six and a half inch AS2 satellite speakers and then the Crown 1000, the CDI 1000 amplifier. And this system, which is a very common size system, I would say, um, that would MSRP for just under 6,500 bucks. Um, again, you still need a source to go with this. So you've got to throw something on to get, you know, whatever music you want playing out to everything, um, which you've got a number of options there, as, as I've discussed earlier. Um, one thing I do want to mention with this before we get into the wiring here. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and talk about this wiring. So one thing you're going to notice that's different with these scalable systems is um, is the wiring. So you, obviously, you've got a different amplifier. We're using a 70-volt amplifier um, from Crown, which we found to be quite bulletproof for these systems, and that's why we continue to push them, and, and uh, we really love these amps. Uh, but this is showing you again you're running your source into the amplifier and you're running speaker wire out from the amplifier to the subwoofer and the satellite speakers so you're going to have one channel this is a two channel amplifier you're going to have one channel dedicated to the subwoofers and you're going to have a, the other channel dedicated to the speakers um, it's crucial that these be set up in that order and we've made it very easy for you we've got uh, you know we've got stickers on the amp showing you that channel one is for the Speakers channel two is for the subwoofers, so it's hard to mess it up. But you definitely don't want to cross those patterns because um, with the subwoofers in particular, especially if you're doing a 10-inch subwoofer, you're actually running the subwoofer in 4 ohm instead of in 70 volt. So this amplifier, depending on how it's programmed with its, with its DSP settings, it can actually run in, in 8 ohm, 4 ohm, or 70 volt. So if you're running a subwoofer in 4 ohm, you do not want to be pushing a 70 volt signal to it. And vice versa, if you're running your 70 volt speakers, you don't want to be pushing a 4 ohm 
signal to those speakers. You'll have big time problems. Uh, again, we've made it easy for you to, uh, to set this up. We've got instructions. We've got a great tech technical support staff who can walk you through it and train you on how to do this easily. Um, you know, it's, it's certainly not rocket science, so it's nothing to be afraid of. But very important that you don't cross those lines. Um, and this also shows you that it's a lot easier to wire. So when you're running out of your one channel to your speakers, you're able to daisy chain. You hear that term, daisy chain, from one speaker to the next. Um, rather than having to run wires all the way back to the amplifier from each speaker. So that's one great thing about 70 volt is it allows you to make the system much more scalable. Um, you know, let's say you take this picture, for example, where there's four speakers shown. Let's say they wanted to add a fifth and a sixth later down the road. Well, you can easily tie into that last speaker and just throw in a fifth and a sixth at any time. Um, and not have any issues. One thing to be aware of and to make sure of is that you've got enough power left over on your amplifier channel uh, to power additional speakers that you throw into this system, which again, getting back to just your audio support staff, um, those are questions that we can easily answer for and help you out with. Uh, I had mentioned that these systems are very scalable. Um, you know, what you're seeing here is a pretty basic setup with four speakers and a sub. Um, I've seen projects go as large as you know, 30 or 40 subwoofers and hundreds of, of uh, landscape speakers, um, you know, using multiple high-powered amplifiers. So there's no outdoor project that's too big, both commercial and residential, and there's also no project that's too small. And um, one important thing to note is for any of you who are looking for help on specking one of these systems, we offer free in-house design. So if, you, uh, if you've got a blueprint or even just photos that you could take of a project or a yard or an area where you want some coverage and you can help give us you know, as many details as possible, we've got a system design team that will then take that information, um, put together basically what we would call, you know, based off of your recommendations and your specifications, a best case listening scenario for your customer um, and we'll put that into a nice detailed uh, chart or grid and uh, get you a quote back with, with all the speakers that you need. Um, so again, free system, uh, free system design and support, which is saving you guys time on the project. And um, it's an awesome benefit that we offer. We have a ton of customers take us up on it and we're, we're building system designs every single day. So keep that in mind as you have these types of projects come up. Uh, talking about source of music, so you know, I mentioned this multiple times now throughout the presentation. Is you still need a source to go with all these systems? Vessel, which I'm not going to spend a ton of time talking about, is a great solution as a source piece, and it's a, a product that is under the Sound Vision Technologies umbrella. Um, it's a product that Streakwave offers and in inventories. And um, it's a great solution. Uh, if you need something that's more budget friendly, you see this little Bluetooth box, um, that would be a very budget friendly option. However, it has plenty of limitations, which we'll talk about that right now. So a Bluetooth box, I mean, you pick one of these up for as cheap as you want, really. Um, and it's going to allow you to link your phone or, or any device um, you know, to it, and then you can play music that way. However, you're going to run into lots of issues as you get uh, you know further and further away from that box or if you start to go you know through walls you go into a house you go through a wall or two all of a sudden that signal gets really really hard to read and you start having issues and the music starts shorting out so not the best solution however it's a budget-friendly solution and that certainly uh, meets certain customers needs um, this is how you would wire it up uh, so you just run out of the Bluetooth box the basic RCA cable and into say the T100 amplifier. Um, you could also hook that up to the Crown CDI 1000 amplifier. Um, as you can see, advantages, it's cost effective, super easy to use. Disadvantages though, in my opinion, outweigh the advantages. So you're gonna be limited on, on the distance you can get away from it. Um, it can be very sensitive. You can have lots of other signals that come up and uh, you know interfere with, with that Bluetooth signal. Also, if you're listening, if you're using a phone to stream and a call comes up, you know, it's going to cut that music out immediately, um, you know, as that call comes in. So, uh, 
going beyond a, a basic Bluetooth box, we've got something like the Vessel A1 product. And again, for those of you who want to know more about Vessel, because I'm not going to spend a ton of time talking about it, check out the last presentation we did. Get that, uh, you know, get with your Streakwave rep and request that uh, presentation. They've, they've got it recorded for you. Um, so the Vessel uses what we call native streaming, um, which is, in a nutshell, uh, a way to use a way for your customer for the end user to use whatever music app they love to use whether it's while they're at the gym whether they're going out for a walk in their car wherever it is they're going to they're going to stick with that same app and use that app at home as well um, rather than having to learn or use a third party application you know so if they like pandora they use that same pandora app that they use in their car that's what they can use at home and the vessel allows uh, allows you to set this up. It's actually set up on the network and this this particular Product here the a1 can be set up both on Wi-Fi or through a hardwire connection um, And what this will allow is for a much more stable connection um, As well as one that is not interrupted when phone calls come in or anything comes in that you know that music signal is going to keep playing uh, regardless of, of whatever comes in so you've got a few ways to stream using Vessel, you've got uh, AirPlay for anybody using Apple or iOS devices. You've got Google Cast for anybody using an Android. Um, and then there's also a third streaming protocol called Spotify Connect, which is a Spotify only um, streaming protocol that, that Spotify uses. So by, by having these three streaming protocols, we could literally have any device stream any app you know, to it. So it's an awesome solution piece. Um, you know, ties it great for whole home distributed audio, but for this presentation's purpose, we're talking about outdoor audio, and it's obviously a great piece for for that as well. Again, this is going to give you much greater distance um, than something like a, a Bluetooth device will give you. It's going to rely on that Wi-Fi connection. So as long as you've got good Wi-Fi through the home, you're going to have a good solid stream that's not going to be interrupted ever. Uh, this is how you would wire up, wire up a vessel, very similar to, you know, even what we saw with just that little Bluetooth box. You're just going to run your out of your analog out from the vessel and into your analog in on an amplifier, and you're done and off to the races with that. If you guys have any questions, again, about vessel and how that works, how it gets programmed, reach out to your sales rep, um, and we'd be happy to jump on a call with you and, and talk to you more about that. Um, I want to spend a few minutes now talking about 70 volt versus 8 ohm. You've heard me re refer to 8 ohm or 4 ohm and 70 volt a couple of times now. So this is going to this is going to probably sum it up the best way for you. Looking at these diagrams here, um, when you're running a 70 volt system, you can use this uh, this term that I mentioned earlier, daisy chain. So you're going to run out of one channel of the amp and you're going to daisy chain each speaker. Um, if you're using our 12 inch subwoofers, those can also be wired in 70 volt. So what that means is you'll be able to wire it the same way as these speakers. So you can daisy chain. If you've got multiple subwoofers on the job, you can daisy chain those subwoofers as well. Um, when you're running something in 8 ohm, as you can see on the right hand side here, you have to have a home run from every single speaker all the way back to your amplifier. So when you're doing an outdoor project, it causes a lot more time on the job if you're going to run something in 8 ohm. So we we see a lot more people using 70 volt, um, which is why we've designed our luxury and scalable systems to be 70 volt. Um, it's because it's so much easier to wire. And you don't have to you don't have to have all that wire running directly back to the amplifier. Which uh, another huge thing to note is um, when you're using 8 ohm and you're running your wire. The longer you run, you start to have very significant losses in your audio volume and quality. Um, when you're running and using a 70 volt signal, you can run far, far greater distances without noticing any drop in audio quality at all. So for outside, you know, especially big projects, you can see that that's going to be something very important because if you've got a huge yard and you need to stretch all the way out from the amplifier inside the home, out to your for the speaker you're going to most likely have some huge volume decreases you know for those speakers that are furthest from the home 
So again, this just kind of breaks it down um, for patio systems where the, the speakers are tucked right against the, the home. Obviously, you're running running them in eight ohm is, is not a bad option at all because you probably have a lot shorter speaker lengths to run. You probably have less speakers too. Um, but if you're doing a big full scale landscape system outside and you've got lots of speakers and subwoofers out there, the last thing you want to do is run a, a home run wire back to the amplifier for every single one of those. Um, I touched on this before, but I want to highlight it again because, uh, again, this is a free service that we offer all of our customers and offer everyone on this call, obviously. Um, if you have any questions or need any help setting up an outdoor project, uh, we love to, to create these designs for you and, and help give you some guidance as to what's going to be best for your customer. So as you can see, this is just a basic diagram. You know, it would, we would get something back to you that, that looks something like this. Ideally, we'd like to get uh, an actual blueprint or layout of the, the, the yard, but we've had customers send us you know, just a bunch of pictures from their, their iPhone of the yard, and we've been able to build a system and um, design a system based off of just those pictures. So honestly, any, any information you can get us, we try to make it as easy as possible, and we try to take as much work out of the equation for you as possible as well, so that we can give your customer the best possible listening experience. Um, typically, we always design these to be you know, best case from our recommendation. So meaning having the most immersive and full sound throughout the whole project. Um, it would be up to you to specify whether or not the customer is going to be very budget conscious or if they're just looking to have the best sound possible. Um, you could always take what we give you and then back it off from there, you know, and downgrade them if needed, if it's um, too high. These systems, honestly, the, the luxury systems, they range anywhere from starting around I'd say the $5,000 mark retail, all the way up to just kind of thinking more of our average size systems, probably 20 grand. So anywhere from 5,000 to 20,000 retail is is what we see a lot of with these, these luxury landscape systems. Again, where we're trying to cover a large space outside, trying to cover a big, huge pool, um, you know, and then you can obviously bring it down from there if you just want to cover a small space. That Ultrascape system is a great way to go for a few thousand dollars. Or even less than that, you can do a couple of patio speakers just to get a little bit of sound, you know, for around a thousand bucks retail. So there is certainly a, a solution there for, for every budget, for every client. Again, that's, that's why we try to offer a very deep line of uh, outdoor products. Um, and our indoor products are, are no different which again, we're not going to talk about that today, but uh, True Audio has a very, very deep line of products in all speaker categories. Um, I wanted to bring up just a few of the frequently asked questions that we get. And let's see, I'm not seeing any questions yet, but again, guys, feel free to ask any questions you have as they come up. Um, I'm sure some things have come up as we've gone, so don't hesitate to ask those. These are some of the frequently asked questions that we get, though. Does True Audio custom paint speakers? The answer is yes, absolutely. Our, um, we've got a custom, a complete custom team that will really uh, do just about anything, but painting speakers is, is something we certainly do. A lot of our outdoor speakers can be custom finished. Um, just to give you an idea, you know, we had a we had a cabin in Montana that uh, they specified some outdoor speakers and they wanted them to match or at least be very close to a wood grain you know log cabin basically a dark log cabin uh, and so our custom team did an amazing job of of custom painting these outdoor op you know patio style speakers with a wood grain finish and they they were ecstatic about how they turned out the customer absolutely loved them um, we actually we show them on our website, so feel free to take a look if you've got an extra minute. Um, but again, our custom department can do just about anything. Um, so painting painting speakers, any sort of custom finish is absolutely something we'll do. Um, can, can customers tie in their existing amplifier with True Audio products? So on here, yes, with our patio systems only. 
Um, that's because typically they're probably going to have an amplifier inside the home that is an 8 ohm amplifier. So if they've got an amplifier that they're using to power other speakers inside the home, more than likely it's going to be an 8 ohm amplifier. And the reason why you'd only be able to do our patio systems is because those systems uh, rely on our 8 ohm speakers. So as you get into our high end luxury systems, you know, we talked about those being 70 volts, those are going to need a 70 volt amplifier in order to power them properly. And then last question here, can we use both patio systems and landscape systems together? Uh, so the answer is yes. And here at the bottom, you'll be able to see this image of, of how you would do that. Um, so if you've got a patio system, so let's say they've got an existing set of, uh, I'm just trying to give you an example here of what we see. Let's say they've got an existing set of old patio speakers uh, on the house, but they recently put in a big pool and they want coverage all around the pool now because those patio speakers just won't reach out far enough. It's just not enough sound. So you'd be able to take those patio speakers from whatever amplifier they're using. In this case, we're just showing the T100. It could be any 8 ohm amplifier they're using to power that. Um, we're going to run our source. They might already have a source inside the home. If they don't, we've got the vessel that we can offer them. Um, you know, Again, something as simple as Bluetooth, um, but you're gonna run out of that into your amplifier, and then most amplifiers, you're gonna have some sort of an audio out. With our T100 amplifier, you've got this three and a half millimeter jack out. And so you're gonna run a three and a half millimeter to RCA over to your Crown uh, 70 volt amplifier, and then that's gonna be the amplifier we use to power up all the speakers around the pool, the new pool that they've just put in. That's going to give us basically uh, unlimited flexibility of what we can offer them now. We can put in as many speakers as they want. And um, again, you can turn to system design for help with that. But it just gives you an idea of how you can easily upgrade a customer who's got some existing stuff, but they want a lot more. Again, we're like I said, we're seeing this a lot, especially this, this year in the summer. Um, a lot of customers looking to upgrade their outdoor living space. And... Um, you know, it's it's absolutely a conversation everyone should be bringing up with with their clients as they're out on on their projects, and even if it's just working on stuff as simple as repairs and, and you know upgrading networking gear, these are questions to ask. It's revenue to be had. Um, another question here: Can I use a satellite or cable box in my installs? So yes, again. If you use this wiring diagram, this shows you exactly how to do it. Um, so you're going to run from your cable or satellite box, which is pictured here on the right bottom corner. So you're going to run out of that. Again, you've got your audio run into your in on, say, the vessel piece. Again, you could use, I mean, you could use a Sonos piece if the customer already has something on the job. If you want to pick up something new, snag a vessel from us. Run out, run a, a wire from your analog out into the Crown 1000. Uh, now you're able to play audio from the cable TV. So let's say the customer wants to watch a football game and have it play out to the pool audio all around. Okay, maybe they've got an outdoor TV. They've got it. You know, they're going to show out there too. This now allows you to pull that audio from the, ca the cable box and send it out to all your speakers outside. Um, and again, don't let any of this overwhelm you. If it seems a bit beyond your wheelhouse, we've got guys who can easily answer this for you with our customer support team and help you out with any kind of a complex uh, system that you might have. Even if it's a simple system, don't hesitate to, to come to us with questions. Um, that is all I've got as far as the presentation goes. I want to turn the time to you guys now. Again, we'd love to have some questions. So please, any questions you've been able to muster up through this presentation, um, get them over to us, and we will take a few minutes to answer those before we wrap up here. Um, but I appreciate you guys joining us. Thanks, Trevor. Um, I have a few questions here until everyone starts to um, come up with theirs. Um, the first question they're asking, can I get any kind of demo products? Absolutely. So if, if you want something to demo for your own personal use, because you're wondering how you can you know, try something out or you, you like to try it before you buy it. I'm one of those guys, certainly. Um, get in touch with your sales rep at Streakwave and we will, we would love to work something out for you demo wise. So, um, 
you know, just get in touch with your sales rep. We'll work it out from there. All right. Is there someone I can talk to for system design help? Yes. So as I said, we've got plenty of system design. We've got a full team that basically it's all they're, they're doing. I mean, the summer has been so busy as far as outdoor stuff goes. So we're doing system designs every single day. Um, we try to have system designs done in a 24 hour period. Um, although that's been pretty tough to hit this year in particular, but um, we do we do our best to to hold to that. So if you need system design support, reach out to your sales rep, um, which will then get you in touch with our directly with our system design, and we'll have something to you within 24 hours. Great, thank you. Um, let's see, let's go down here to these questions. Can I tie an outdoor landscape system into an existing automation system? Yes. So let's see if you've got, let's say your customer has a control force system inside the house or a, an RTI system or URC system, um, it can absolutely be tied in. If you are not the original uh, dealer or integrator who was on that job who put that system in, um, then you will, more than likely you have to go you have to go a couple of directions you'd have to either get certified with with that control company um, if you're not already or you would need to work probably with the original uh, integrator who, who put that system in uh, and then work with them to tie the outdoor system into the rest of the home's automation so the answer is yes but there may be a few uh, you know a few walls you got to jump over Awesome. Um, does it matter the size of the landscape I have um, to input any type of speaker? Um, let's see. So, like, is that question? Is that more like a? What would you say? Is that Angela? Is that like uh, just like the size of a landscape system? So they're asking. Um, they have a small like condo, and so they're okay. asking if that's okay to place. Um, what what type of speaker would you guys kind of recommend to put that in okay so yeah if it's a condo great great question if it's like a condo space and they've got a little little small outdoor area um let's say it's like a little you know quarter size yard or something like that it's, it's pretty common in in and around my area where i live so absolutely I'd, I'd say go with just a small set of patio speakers um you know a pair of patio speakers you can keep that volume low and still have great coverage uh, maybe even that ultrascape system would be a good option for you, depending on the size. Um, but absolutely, and you know, like I said, we've got stuff uh, starting down at the base level. You can go very small, you can scale up to as large as you want to go. All right, great. Um, and do you do you guys work within the customer's budget? Most definitely, yep. So we've got uh, we've got an offering for really every budget, uh, and we we see this happen all the time. We, our customers obviously they want to sell these high end luxury systems, um, and sometimes people are more than fine to spend that kind of money on a system. But sometimes they see, you know, fifteen thousand dollars for an audio system in their backyard, and it's a massive sticker shock for them, even though they spent a hundred grand on re, on redoing their pool. Um, you know, and if that's the case, then you can simply back them down to something smaller. But, uh, you know, it's, it's important to explain to them, um, you know, why you spec that system in the first place and basically what they're going to get out of something smaller. So uh, if a customer doesn't want to go heavy but has a large or doesn't want to you know, spend more than 10 grand but has a very large audio space to cover, then you probably need to have the conversation with them of, well, let's let's just focus on one small area you know, like a fire pit or, or small patio, and we'll just cover that area with, with some good sounding audio because that's kind of where your budget's at. So, yes. Great. Our next question, how long does a typical install take? Uh, really good question. Um, so we, I would say a typical outdoor install, I mean, if you're going to just put up a couple of patio speakers, you know, you could have that knocked out in a couple of hours, honestly. Um, if you're doing a full-scale system around the pool, you know, there's trenching that's going to have to be done. 
Um, if you're going to put burial subs in, you're going to have to dig holes for those burial subs. A lot of a lot of a lot of our customers are able to use um, kind of the landscapers to do that portion, because typically there's a lot of landscaping going on at the time the audio is being put in, and so you can kind of lean on them for for help with the digging and and whatnot. But if it's going to be one of those full scale systems, um, you know we're talking. It's going to take it, it's going to take a, a much longer period of time. You know, if you're able to just work straight through, you could probably have something like that knocked out in a weekend. Um, but it's going to be some full days of work if if you're going to do you know a system that's going to have a couple of burial subs and eight or ten landscape speakers. Great, thank you. Um, next question: Is it always easy to upgrade? So, if they installed a certain speaker and later on they want to upgrade. Is that easy to do, or um, do you have to plan a whole a whole new design? That's a great question too, because um, a lot of you run into a job where a customer already has maybe some old speakers and they want to upgrade, or maybe you put in some true audio speakers, and then two years down the road they want to they want more volume. Um, so. It is easy to upgrade. Uh, just to give you a couple of examples, let's say they did the smaller four inch satellites around their pool because they like the idea of, of the smaller ones to kind of be hidden. Um, but let's say a couple of years goes by and then they remember that you talked to them about the larger eight inch AS3 speaker and how much better it sounded. And they feel like they're lacking on the sound a little bit. And so they come back to you and say, well, you know what, how can we switch those AS3s? There's just, there's a couple of things you'll have to keep in mind is the biggest thing's gonna be, you know, swapping out the speaker will be no problem. Your wires already run, um, but you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to figure out if you've got enough power on the amplifier to now power all of those larger speakers because they're going to require additional power versus the small ones. And again, those can be questions you just lead to our support team and, and we're happy to answer them for you. If you tell us everything you've got on the project, we can tell you what'll fit. And so you may be able to upgrade without purchasing anything other than just the speakers, but if there's not enough power, then most likely we'd have to look at purchasing a new amplifier as well. Awesome. Um, the next question, is there a warranty on the speakers? Great question. Uh, absolutely. So we have an industry leading five-year warranty on all of our outdoor products. Um, you know, our indoor speaker products are lifetime warranty, our outdoor speaker products are five years. So it's, um, you know, again, we're, we're leading the industry. I know there's a couple of our competitors who have a, the same warranty, but um, we're up there at the top of the pack. Awesome. Uh, it looks like those are all the questions that I see here, and we're pretty much um, on time here. To wrap it up, um, thank you, um, Trevor, for doing the presentation and all the attendees. Is there anything that you just wanted to conclude with? I uh, just wanted to say thanks to everyone who attended. Uh, hopefully, you were able to get something out of this. And again, don't hesitate to reach out to your sales rep and to us. And if, if you're interested in this, we'd love to get more information to you. We do have some um, marketing pieces. We've got an awesome bifold. Uh, so if you reach out to your sales representative, we can get some uh, bifold pieces that are, are just strictly for outdoor audio. Um, you know, they, they don't show any pricing, but they just show a lot of our product solutions and offerings. It's something super easy to give to, to your customer when you're out on, you know, on the site and just kind of leave with them, let them know it's, it's something you offer. But um, yeah, thanks to everyone who attended. Yep, and if any other questions arise, please don't hesitate to reach out to um, your street fair representative or directly to um, Trevor and Chase. Yes, Thanks, thank everyone. you. Have a good day.